Good morning. Welcome to Heart and Soul Yoga with Sharon. I am Sharon. And today we have what I'm calling a strong woman sequence. It's for guys too, so don't be offended. Um, a strong person uh, sequence. Um, for today's practice, you'll need at least one block, maybe two, and then whatever you need for Shavasana, blanket, pillow bolster, whatever it is that you utilize for your Shavasana. So for our strong person sequence, we're going to start in a nice comfortable seat here. And we're going to bring that back nice and straight and tall. Mm. And let those hands come to rest wherever they fall. Mm. And you bring those eyes closed if that feels good to you. And just let that breath flow in and out. Just a nice natural breath here. Nothing forced. Just breathe. And while you're paused here, let's, let's set a little intention this morning. Let's think about uh, ways that you are strong. Or what is it about you that gives you strength or allows you to give strength to others? So take a moment and just set an intention for yourself focused around strength whether that's what makes you strong, what allows you to help give strength to others, or just help, how others help you to be strong. So just set that little intention here. And we'll pause for a few more gentle breaths. Start to deepen that breath here, solidifying that intention as we take it nice and deep into the belly, feeling that belly slightly rise with the inhale and then release back with a nice slow exhale. Inhaling nice and deep into the belly, exhaling nice and slow, letting the belly release back in. And just continue with that movement, with that breath. in mind your intention, you can set it in with the more intentional breath. Breath back, make sure it's nice and tall. And let's pause here for just a couple more nice deep breaths. That exhale has been completely released. Slowly bring those eyes open, and finding yourself centered and ready for your practice this morning. Let's release the hands up to the sides, palms facing the ceiling. Inhale as you release the arms up over the head. Turn the palms back out. Exhale. Take them back down to your sides. Some breaths. Inhale, nice and deep up with the arms. Exhale, releasing back down. Beautiful. 
Let's do that about three more times. Just follow your breath here. Beautiful. Let's pause here, just touching the earth, feeling the strength of the earth as it supports you seated. And we're going to come into an easy twist here. So let's take the left hand back behind. Inhale, the right arm up overhead. Exhale, you're going to take that right hand to the left knee and guide yourself into that twist here. The first little twist of the morning. So be gentle with yourself here. Take two more breaths here, twisting to the left. You're going to leave the right hand where it is with your next inhale. We're going to take the left hand and reach it around, crossing over, pointing the right knee. On your next inhale, we're going to release the arms up. Find eagle arms here. Bring those elbows up. Now take your breath to your back here. Nice and deep breath here. On your next exhale, we'll release. Let's pause here. Mm. All right, let's switch the opposite side. So we're going to take the right hand back behind. Inhale, the left on the overhead. Exhale, take that left hand to the right knee and guide yourself into as deep of a twist that feels good to you. Breathe here. Nice deep breaths. Keep the breath going nice and deep into the belly. On your next inhale, we're going to bring the right hand around to the left knee. Exhale here. Inhale, release it up to eagle arms. Lift those elbows as high as feels comfortable. Take some nice deep breaths into your back here. One more nice deep breath here, eagle arms. And your next exhale, release. Mm. I'm going to come into a side bend here. You know, let the left hand go out to the side. Inhale, the right arm overhead. 
And we're gonna take it into that side bend. We're gonna walk that left hand out and straighten it out. And then see if I can take you a little bit deeper into that side bend. Beautiful. Check that right shoulder. Make sure it's open up towards the ceiling. Open that heart center up. Now find your breath here. Oh, nice deep breath. And next exhale, bring the arm back up, right? Mm. Let's pause here for a breath, touching the earth. Opposite side, right hand out, touching the earth. Inhale, pull left arm overhead towards the sky, and then side bend. And we're gonna walk that right hand out to get it nice and straight. And then we're gonna release that left hip. So use your exhale to let that hip Left hip go down, open up that left shoulder. Now breathe. One more breath here. And the Jesus left hand brings up right. And the exhale. Beautiful. Pause here. Touching the earth, feeling the strength of the earth. Take a moment and come back to your attention here before we move up. Beautiful. Let's make our way to tabletop, whatever way works for you. Just do a couple rounds of cat cow here, just to loosen that spine a little bit. Spread those fingers nice and wide. Inhale, we're going to chin lift up, down the drops. Exhale, chin to chest, arch the back. And one more round, just to loosen the spine. All right, so let's make our way to our down dog here. Throw those toes under, take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, let's release it up to that down dog. Pedal out here a little bit. Settle into your down dog. Let's take two breaths here. All right, look to your hands. You don't have to walk your feet to your hands into or fold. Beautiful. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, swing the arms out to the sides. Bring them up right. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. We'll pause here for a breath or two. Mm. Whew. All right, let's build the strength here. So I'm going to do four rounds of sun salutations, but with each round, I want you to envision one way that you are strong as an individual. One way that you are give strength to others. One way that you need strength from others. And just one way that you feel that you're, um, just come back to another way that you're strong. Okay, so I'll mention that before we begin each salutation, okay? So we're beginning at the top of the mat in our first round, we're gonna think of, as we do the salutation, how am I strong? How do I have strength? And here we go. Inhale, the palms overhead. Exhale, hold it down. 
Inhale, half lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, step the right foot back, finding the lunge. Exhale, take the hands to the mat, step the left foot back, find plank, and blow it out. Inhale, cobra, slight little back bend, curl the toes, exhale, down dog. Inhale, send the right foot forward, finding high lunge. Exhale, send it to forward fold. How are you strong? Thinking of ways. Hold. Release the arms up. And heart center. Continue to think of how you are strong. Left side. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Half lift. And fold. Second left foot back, finding lunge. Exhale, send it to plank by sending the hands down. And then we'll release chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Curl the toes, exhale, down dog. Inhale, the left foot comes forward to find lunge. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Hold. And sweep the arms up. Ooh, heart center. All right, our second round. We're thinking of ways that we offer strength to others. How do we give strength to others? So get that in mind. Ooh, all right, here we go. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Half lift with the inhale. And fold. Sending the right foot back. Send out that strength that you have to others. Plank and lower. Over. And down dog. Send that right foot forward, find lunge. Exhale, forward, fold. Half lift. Fold. Swing it up. Right center. Left side. Send out that string. Here we go. Even pull up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, and fold. Left foot goes back into that lunge. Exhale, plank and lower. Plank, cobra, and down dog with the exhale. Left foot forward, send out that strength. Exhale. Inhale, half lift. Mm. And sweep it up. Third round. How do you need or what kind of strength do you need from others? So how do you pull in to help yourself and lift yourself up? We need that. We need that from others. So think about how you need strength from others. Here we go. Inhale up. Hold. Half lift. Hold. Right foot back lunge. Pulling that straight. Exhale. Send back the plank. And chaturanga. Low breath. And down dog. Send that right foot forward, find high lunge, pull in the strength. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift, fold, and sweep it up. And now, left side. Go. 
Left foot goes back. You may do that straight. Exhale, send to blank. Go around. And down more. Bring that left foot forward, lunge. And beautiful half lifts. Sweep it up. Awesome. All right, last round. Whatever it is that you want to bring in about strength, maybe it's another round of what makes you strong. Where are you strong in your body? So here we go. Left. Right foot. Follow your breath. Right foot. Left side strength. What is it? How do you use it? How do you send it out? Left foot, how do you receive it? How do you view it? Left foot. Wherever you are in your sequence, we'll meet up in Namaste Mountain. And once you're in Namaste Mountain, release the hands down. Find Mountain. We're going to pause here. Ooh, feeling the strength that we just built. Finding the strength that's in our bodies. We all have strengths. They might be different from each other, but we all have them. We need here. Awesome. All right, before we're going to begin our next little sequence here, bring in that block and just set it up at the top of the mat just so you have it handy should you need it. Okay. All right, back to mountain. On your next inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold it down. Just step it back to down dog from here. Find your down dog here. All right, we're gonna inhale, lift the heels. So just come up on the toes. Exhale, bend the knees and send the heels back down. Inhale, straighten the legs, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees and send the heels back down. Beautiful, let's do that two more times. Straighten the legs, inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, exhale, send the heels towards the floor. One more time, straighten the legs. Inhale, lift the heels way up high. Exhale, bend the knees and send the feet back. Find your neutral down block. Beautiful. And we're going to inhale, lift the right leg. Send it way up high. And then we're going to bend that right knee. And then we're going to open up to the right side body, sending that left foot kind of peek underneath your left. Armpits, see if you can see that right foot. Beautiful. Just pause here, take three really nice deep breaths. Mm. 
release it back to the three-legged dog, right leg up. And exhale, we're gonna bring that right knee towards the chest and then walk that right foot out. Drop the left knee, finding a lunge, a slow lunge. And we're gonna walk this right foot out to the edge of the mat and turn that foot out to about a 45 degree angle. So walk that foot to as deep of a lunge that feels good to you. And, <clears throat> excuse me, make our way to the lizard. So here's where that block might come in handy. Maybe you want to put the forearms down onto the block. Maybe you want to turn it down over. Maybe you can go all the way down, forearms all the way down to the mat. So find that stretch that feels best to you. And then release the crown of the head down. And pause there. We're going to pause for about four really nice deep breaths. So get settled in to your lizard. Of choice. Nice deep breaths. Okay. Head dangle down. Nice deep breaths here. Oh, one more nice deep breath, beautiful. Mm, all right, we're gonna slowly walk the body up. If you use the block, just set it back out front. Come back up to a low lunge. Bring the body upright. Mm. And we'll just pause here in low lunge if you want to really soften the overhead. Arms back down. We're going to frame that front foot. We're going to curl the toes under the back foot, lift up, and we're going to let set that left heel down as we turn into a long wide legged fold here. Standing wide legged fold. We're going to bend the knees, place the hands on the small of the back, thumbs facing the spine. Take a nice deep inhale, exhale, press the body up. Beautiful. Pause here. Let everything settle. Let that blood get to where it needs to go. Mm. Beautiful. All right, here we go. Take those feet at about a 45 degree angle, nice strong base of your legs, and inhale, take the arms out to the five point star. Pause here, relax the shoulders. Mm. Inhale, nice and deep here. Exhale. Take it to goddess, and we're just going to sit in goddess. We're not going to do pulses, we're just going to sit in goddess, building that strength, finding that strength within us. Breathe here. Lift those toes if you need a little bit more. Beautiful, tuck that pelvis in. Let's take three more nice deep breaths. You got this. Come on, breathe. On your next inhale, release the arms back up to five point star. Pause here. Relax the shoulders. Release the arms down, turn that back foot back towards the front edge. You release the front foot down, find high lunge here. Pause, find your balance. Inhale, take the arms up overhead. Exhale, release the hands down and step it back to down dog. 
And we'll pause here in down dog for a couple breaths as you settle in. All right, here we go. We're gonna do that same little sequence on the opposite side. So inhale, lift the left leg up. Bend that left knee, open out, peek underneath that right armpit, find that left foot there. Beautiful. Take some nice deep breaths here. Two more breaths, you got this. Lift that back, left leg up, and bring it in towards the chest, and then walk it out. Do a little lunge, dropping the right heel. Find that nice, deep, little lunge here. And we're gonna make our way to that pigeon on the opposite side, so walk that left foot out to the edge of the mat, turn it out to that 45 degree angle, walk it into as deep of a lunge that feels good to you, and then make your way down to your blizzard. Ooh, ah. Okay, so you might be able to go a little deeper on this side, or you might not. So it just depends on your body. Once you're there, let that crown of the head release down. Find your breath here. Take your breath where you need it. Increase your strength here, your inner strength here. Now breathe. Two more breaths, you got this. Mm. All right, let's slowly make our way out of this and bring it up to high lunge, setting the block out to the top of the mat. Sorry, no lunge here. My apologies. Mm. Bring it down upright. Squeeze the arms up overhead if that feels good. Let the blood rush where it needs to go here. Mm. One more breath. All right, let's release the hands down. I'm going to step it back to tabletop here. Pause in tabletop. All right, we're going to release the hips down to one side, send out the legs into staff position. Sitting up nice and tall here. We're going to bring the right foot in. Place it on the inseam of the left foot. And just bring it up as far as feels good to you here. Woo. All right, here we go. Inhale, release the arms over the head. Exhale, we're just going to fold over. Let those hands go where they do. Maybe they go to the knee, to the shin. Maybe they go all the way out to the foot. And uh, I'll show you how you grab your block. But sometimes people like to put the block on the back of their foot here and reach around grabbing the block. We're going to pause here for a few breaths. Let that head release down. Mm. All right. We're going to open up the body here. So we're going to reach the right hand back behind. Get nice and strong and supported here. And we're going to slowly. Bring that left foot in just a tiny little bit, and then we're going to open up. Uh, let the body release up. My left knee or right knee supports, right arm support. 
left arm releases up to the sky. Pause here. Breathe nice and deep. One more breath. And release it back. Awesome. Release the right leg. Pause here and step. Oh, yeah. Talk about building some strength. Ooh, there we go. All right, let's do the opposite side. The left foot comes in. Bring it as far as we get here. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, fold it down. Just go as far as feels good. Again, if you want to reach for that block or change your foot or ankle or shin or knee, wherever the hands fall that you feel comfortable. And we'll pause here. Let the crown of the head release down. Breathe nice and deep here. All right, bring the body up right, and we're gonna inhale, take the left arm back behind. We're gonna really push into this left heel and this left knee as we lift up. Look, I have this up towards the ceiling. Oh, breathe here. Awesome, keep breathing. One more breath, you got this. Awesome, slowly release down. Ooh. And make your way back to staff position. I'm gonna send the legs out nice and wide here. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale, just forward fold here. So far, it feels good. And grab that block to rest on. Whatever feels good here. Let the crown of the head release down. A couple more nice deep breaths here and wide legged forward fold. Mm. One more breath. Just walk the body upright. Break the seal of the stretch by placing the hands behind the knees and slowly release up. Bring the feet to where the soles of the feet are together and find the shirt to lock. You might want a second block handy here for this. I'm going to turn so that I'm facing you. Now we're going to take this block and we're going to place it in between the feet. So the soles of the feet are pressing on the sides of the block here, okay? So bring it as close or far away from the body. That feels good to you. You want it fairly close though, because we're gonna fold over this, okay? So the feet are pressing into the block. Here's where you might want this second block, and we'll talk about that. So let's first just fold over and see what it feels like. So take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, and we're gonna release down. So this might feel good to you, and you might wanna just stay right here. But another option is to find that second block and place it wherever it feels good, and bring the forearms to the block, and release. You might find that you get a little deeper placing the forearms on the block and just forward folding. So find what feels good here to you, whether it's placing the elbows, forearms. Take some nice deep breaths, let that head release down.
took two more nice deep breaths here. We'll slowly release the body up, right? Set the block off to the side. We're going to leave the left foot pulled in here. We're going to take the right foot, place it to the mat, and sit up tall here. We're going to let the right hand go down either to the earth or to the right ankle, and take the left hand to the heart center, and then just release it up towards the sky. Press into the right inner thigh with the right forearm, the right upper arm. Nice deep breaths here. Find your strength in here. One more nice deep breath. And we'll release it down. Whew. Release the right foot. Pause here in butterfly. All right, opposite side. Left foot comes to the mat. Left arm goes either down to the earth or to the left ankle. Press into that thigh with the left arm. Take the right arm to the heart center and then release it up to the sky. Come back to your intention here. Strength, calmly strong. How do I send strength out to others? How do I pull strength in that I need? Strength comes in so many different ways. Be proud of your strengths. One more breath. My hand begins to down. Find the butterfly. And we'll go ahead and come down to our bellies here. Oh. Let the forearms come in line with the chest. And we're going to do a few little baby cobra push ups here. So take a nice deep inhale as you lift up. Maybe the elbows come away from the mat ever so slightly. Exhale. Release. Inhale. Come up for a little baby cobra. Exhale. Release. Do that two more times. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale. Release. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, release. Let the forehead release all the way down to the mat. And we're going to bring the elbows to the mat. And then we're going to bring the palms together over the head. We're just going to pause here for some nice deep breaths. Taking in the beauty of our strengths that we've developed through our sequence this morning. Two more breaths here. Slowly begin to release up, send the hands 
to the chest level here. Spread those fingers nice and wide. Rest the body up. Take the top. Spend a couple breaths here. Doing what feels good in tabletop. Maybe it's sway the hips. Maybe it's some hip circles. Maybe it's some cat cow. Beautiful. And curl those toes under, send the hips back towards the feet. Sit up on your feet here. I was like to do a nice stretch. Step nice and tall here, release the hips down. If this is ever too intense, you can always place a blanket between the legs here and still get the stretch in the feet, but not have so much pressure on the knees here. So this is a very good option. Still get that nice stretch there. Awesome. Now release the hips down to the side. Have a block off to your side as you make your way down to your back here. Whatever way works to get down to your back. Have anything for Shavasana close by along with that block before you make your way down to your back. And here we go. We're just going to pause here in corpse pose for just a couple breaths here, feeling the strength of the earth. All right, we're going to begin to make our way to supported bridge. So let's take the feet to the mat, put them at sit bones position, reach out with your fingertips and just lightly brush your heels. That lets you know that your feet are in the right place. Inhale, just lifting the hips as high as necessary to place that block underneath. Make sure it's underneath the hips, right at the bottom of that table. You don't want it under the low back. You don't want to cause any damage to the low back here. Release the arms out to the sides, palms facing the ceiling. And maybe bring your eyes closed here. Feel the beauty of your strength. Feel the beauty of how you send strength out to others. Feel the beauty of how you bring strength in for yourself. And extend the right leg down and let the heel come in contact with the mat. And do the same thing with the left foot. So you might want to adjust the height of your block here, depending on how deep you want this front line stretch. And we're just going to pause here. Relax the neck, relax the head. That breath flowing here. As we approach Shavasana, we want to keep that breath strong. Let's take one more breath here. And we're going to release the feet back to supported bridge position. Pause here. And on your next inhale, press into the floor with the feet as you lift the hips, sending the block off to the side. Let the hips come down with the exhale. Feel those vertebrae touch the mat. Let's hug in our knees. Rock gently side to side. We'll come into supine twist as we use the right hand 
to guide the knees down to the right. The left arm floats up to the T. Pause here and breathe. One more breath. Let's bring those knees to center on the man. And here we go. We're going to sit down opposite side. The left arm guides the hand. Knees down to the left. The right arm floats up to the Couple more breaths here. On the next inhale, bring the knees to center. And if there's anything else that needs to be taken care of in your body, take a moment for a couple breaths here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come into happy baby. And go out to full body stretch. Go to the legs up. Mm -hmm. Just a few breaths here, taking care of whatever else feels good to you. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And we're going to slowly begin to make our way down to our Shavasana pose of choice. Whatever that might look like for you. Covering up with a blanket or using an eye pillow. Nice and comfy, nice and relaxed. Yeah. And then those arms relax out. And just let everything become very heavy here. And we'll pause here for several moments and bring you together at the end.
slowly bring your breath back into your awareness again. And bring your attention back into your awareness. It is in your attention that you set to round up around strength. Add some small bodily movements, moving your fingers and toes, wrists and ankles, and slowly bring yourself back to your space. And when you feel ready, roll to one side and pause on that side for a breath or two. And when you feel ready, use your arms and your hands. Press the body up, rest. Mm. And then make your way up to your comfortable seat. Ah, strength. We all have it. We all need it. We all share it. So take that with you through your day as we take our last breath together. We inhale, bring your arms up overhead. Palms together, exhale, bring to the heart center. And thank yourself ever so slightly as you bow to yourself. And just enjoy your day. And thank you so much for joining me. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you all very much, and as always, be well.